what's up everybody, E Rivera94, bringing you another action figure review. Today we're going to take a look at the SH Figuarts Super Saiyan 3 Son Goku action figure by Bandai Tomashi Nations. I do admit, although I am a little bit tired of having Goku being released every other month it seems, I'm actually looking forward to this figure a lot. We are in dire need of an updated, way better version of Super Saiyan 3 Goku, and this is it right here. The previous one that they released years ago is a little outdated, and it could use some work. It wasn't all that perfect, in my opinion. So I'm very happy that they did remake it. It's not just a simple premium color edition repaint. This is the all-new figure, so very excited about that. Here's the front of the packages. Got the figure right here in the window. Picture of the figure on the side. This is not a web exclusive, so that's good. Here's the side of the package. It's a little bit thick thanks to the hair. So we got more pictures of him on the side, on the back as well. And then also on the other side, we have uh, Super Saiyan 3 Son Goku. So without further ado, let's get him out of the package. All right, and there we have Super Saiyan 3 Son Goku out of package. And before I get this started, I want to let you guys know that you are able to get this from agelessgeeks.com. If you are local to Xbox, which is, as you know, runs Ageless Geeks, and you are able to pick this guy up today. I know he sells it at his shop. He gets the Japan version, so as we all know, they come before the USA version. So at a little bit of a higher price, you can get them now from Ageless Geeks at his local shop. But if you can wait, he will also have the USA version available uh, probably next month for a lot cheaper price. And you can also add the promo code EREVERA94, and you will get 5% off that version. With Without further ado, let's get this review started. And the first thing I want to say is that he is a lot more impressive in hand than he is through pictures. A lot of people, including myself, were not very happy about how this figure looked through pictures. Because you know how it gets released overseas first and people will post pictures up of them having it in hand. I can't stress enough that he looks a lot better in hand. Now I think the paint looks fantastic. We have the all new body mold. The legs are where you really see the big differences at. Uh, the groin area as well. They're really using the new articulation right here in the groin area with every single figure that they are releasing. And I do like that they fix those horrible knees that we used to get before on an overall better figure than the original release. Now first things first, we'll get started with the accessories. He does come with four different faces, so a good amount there. We have the face on the figure. You do have this face where he's looking off to the side and he's more of a neutral, serious, look on him the angrier pissed off face looking forward looking forward powering up or a kamehameha wave blast or whatever you want to uh use this head for uh so you, you got that expression as well and then also the one on the figure is a smirking face looking forward good options there on the faces in my opinion they all look pretty good there's not really a neutral face where he just looks forward so there's that they all kind of have their own unique expression as for the hands we have the two fists that are normally on every single figure that we get karate chop hands also are very common instant transmission hands as well grabbing or grappling hands kind of a martial arts posing hand right here and our traditional key blast hands last but not least he comes with a flight stand so it's always great to have these he also does come with the halo effect that is removable if you guys want to include that as an accessory. He actually came packed in with the halo attached to him. So I almost forgot about that piece, but that is removable as well. You will see a peg hole on the top of his head right there. So there is that. They went with a very nice goldish metallic looking hair paint on this guy. It's very noticeable on the front of the hair where you have a little bit of orange there i like that a lot it gives the super saiyan color hair a more of a goldish look to it and i really do like that a lot it's supposed to be a yellowish gold hair after all so and that goes all around the hair as we take a look at the new sculpt everything looks pretty good i like how it's all well put together everything's nice and sturdy as well the joints are holding all well as you can see there is some light shading going on in the leg slash groin area they added a little bit of shading there uh can it have more shading yeah of course it could always have more shading they could have added a little bit more uh but overall it really isn't as bad as he looked in pictures he he isn't pale he doesn't look too bad at all in my opinion articulation wise the neck joint holds the hair fantastically it's great it's nice and sturdy uh, so the hair does articulate a little bit. You can kind of twist it around here. So you can move it down, but then his head's going to look up. So speaking of the head, the head goes forward and back. It goes left and right. There is a neck joint as well. Arms go forward and back, in and out. We do have the shoulder sleeve 
on a separate piece so it doesn't hinder anything. It does uh, hinge right there on that ball joint behind his shoulder. There's a bicep swivel. There's, there's a double jointed elbow. Wrist swivels on a hinge. Swivel at the diaphragm joint that goes forward and back as well. There is a bottom waist swivel underneath his waistband. The legs go forward and back on those new leg joints in and out as well. You can see how it looks right there. Thigh swivel, double jointed knees and I love these knees a lot better as I mentioned before. Ankles go forward and back, ankle pivot, ankle swivel, and there is a toe hinge as well. And there we have him next to the original Super Saiyan 3 SH figure, it's Goku that came out about five to six years ago. I can't remember, it was either 2011 or 2012 that this figure released. So it's, it's been quite a long time, you know. It's, we can see uh, the mustard yellow. I always call it the mustard yellow because that's really what it looks like. I, I was never a big fan of that mustard yellow uh, color for the gi. It, it really wasn't accurate i do both come with halos as we turn the figures to the side we'll see the hair differences here the original one came with a lot of orange spray on the hair which looks pretty good i like that uh orange in between the yellow right there you can see the yellow it's a lot more i guess uh lighter or paler on the original hair compared to the goldish metallic look of the new one I really do like that metallic look. You guys will see what I'm talking about once he's in hand. Now on both figures, you kind of have to lean them forward to stand them up. Obviously, the top heaviness or the back top heaviness is going to pull him back and make him fall back. So you got to lean him a little bit forward. I think you have to do it more so on the original than in the new one. But it has to be done for both. Now just a few things to note before I end this video. Head swapping is going to be difficult on this figure. They did not make it easy for us. I don't know why. Maybe it was because the hair was heavy. They had to put a different ball joint to support it. That's what I want to think. Because they really don't ever do this to us. All the figures are always swappable and whatnot. This one is going to be difficult. When you take the head off, it's going to take the neck along with it. So if you want to put the regular Goku head on there from the regular Goku figure, you're going to have to mod the neck so it could fit onto this figure. So keep that in mind. Swapping the faces of this figure could be a pain, and that's literally because the spikes on the hair really stab your hand when you're trying to push the face into the the head uh, please be careful when applying the faces you could uh, you know you could even cut yourself so all right guys and that concludes my review on the SH figure Super Saiyan 3 Sun Goku 2.0 if you want to call it that and this is a fantastic figure which I do highly recommend uh, those who missed out on the first release of the SS3 Goku uh, you don't really need that unless you're a completionist so go with this one this is a better version of this Goku the version that we should have got to begin with this figure is uh, worth it you know I give it a chance don't just base it off of pictures that you see on the internet because look at this figure he looks fantastic I, I am very happy with him they did a excellent job with this figure and I do recommend this to any Dragon Ball Z fan any Goku fan any SH figure arts DBZ collector out there uh, you are going to need this guy in your collection. This is the SS3 Goku that we uh, deserve right here. So don't forget that you can pre-order your Super Saiyan 3 Goku SS figures from agelessgeeks.com. Using the promo code ERIVERA94, you will get 5% off uh, any of your orders on that website. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys would like. And don't forget to have a great day. Bye.